Okay, everybody, I wanted to hop on here quick and do a quick video to show you how to activate and install these Anova Westrock UTM cellular monitors for the residential, uh, your typical little standard above ground propane tank at a house, temp heat, whatever the case may be. Uh, these also work on the fuel gauges. You can see here we've got our fuel gauge installed. Okay. So when you get this and it's got the lead, typical monitor, plug it into your remote ready gauge. And the easiest way to do this is to have the ANOVA field app. Okay. If you guys can see that, okay. But this top one right here says tank setup. So you're going to click that tank setup button and it asks you to enter or scan the serial number of your monitor. I'm getting some glare going. Okay. So on the front of this monitor, you can see this QR code here. That's what it's asking you to scan under tank setup. So tank setup, hit your camera, okay? You're gonna scan that QR code. Sometimes it takes a minute. Okay. Populates on there just like that. You're going to hit go and it's going to pull up your template. Okay. All the information you need to fill about that customer is right here. So you're just going to go down the list tank information, the location name. It's auto populated with this serial number of this device, but you can edit that to your customer's name. So maybe we've installed this at Verana Construction. Okay, tank capacity, 500 gallon tank. Tank scale, you don't need to change that, it's automatically in there. But the fuel type, you need to decide, is this propane, is it diesel fuel, is it gasoline, whatever the case may be. So we'll leave this one as propane. Okay. Tank serial number. You can go ahead and enter your tank serial number there off the data tag. That way you know which tank this monitor is associated with. And then you're going to hit location information. Next page. And one of the nice things about the app is you can see down here at the bottom, there's the latitude and longitude and the little map symbol. If you click that map symbol, it will automatically populate your Latin long on there and all the location information. Okay. Just by GPS, it entered it all for me. I didn't have to do anything. So now we're ready to go to the next page, the custom fields. You can change the route number, you know, the account number, anything on there. Go ahead and hit next at the bottom. And it's going to show you your system alarms. And you need to check that box at the top that says enable system alarms. So go ahead and hit that so that it starts reporting. <clears throat> Email setup. Just like on the computer, you can enter the recipients that you want to receive this. So if you want to receive it, if your customer wants to receive it, um, if somebody at the back office or a driver needs to see this, you just put their email address in here and they're going to get that anytime there's a change in the status. 
So we have the status set as a warning to go off at 30% and a critical to go off at 15%. And they'll get notified each time those are triggered. Okay, hit next. It's going to ask you what days of the week you want this to report. We just have it set at once daily. Hit next. And then it's asking you to take a picture of the installed monitor. So you can go ahead and click on that. Click take photo. It opens up the photo in the app. You can go ahead and take that picture. Use photo if you like it. And it's going to upload the picture of that install for reference. Okay. And then when you hit next again, it's finalizing that install. Okay. It's collecting the cellular data from the monitor and getting a reading. Sometimes this will take a minute. Okay, you'll get the green screen here showing you configuration complete. And you can either install your next monitor or exit the app because you're done. And that's, that's all you have to do to install this UTM device. As always, let me know if you have any questions.